You're not embarrassed? You're not ashamed of yourself. Yeah, and you wash like, your hands. Pizza. Like, you didn't tip the man. My hands are clean. <laughs> <laughs> God sanctified Well, sometimes it puts... What do you mean we're wrapping up the show? I got more to say. Like, I got more experiences to share. What? <laughs> Tune in on part two exclusively with me. <laughs> Here we go. All right, no enthusiasm. That's fine. Here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Uncut. We're gathered here today talking about some <laughs> in holy matrimony. In holy matrimony. We're gathered here. No, because it's about together. No, guys, it's about to get deep. It's about to get deep. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. We got comfortable. We're getting comfortable. We're getting, We're getting uncomfortable. Getting... Yeah. <laughs> We're getting real. Okay. Today's hot topic is what is your biggest failure? The biggest mis what you consider the biggest failure or the biggest mistake. Don't rush all on the floor at once. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'll go. Uh, I think what what I know is my biggest failure, like hands down, has to be rushing into um, a relationship too quick, not knowing what I bring to the table, and um. Just letting someone have like the key to my heart and having like control over my emotions uh, way ahead of the game. I feel like um, being in a relationship when you, you don't really know what you're doing and you're still young, um, you know, you fall in love and everything and then you give someone the key to your heart so quick before even knowing if they're right for you, before even knowing if they're going to get married to you, whatever. And I knew that that was like the picture I was, I was going for, but in my steps, like I didn't know how to actually practice, like put that in practice. So mm -hmm. I would say, I, I also didn't know what my, um, your worth, like I didn't know my, I knew my worth as a person. I spent a lot of time about like single um, but I didn't know what I could bring in a relationship that, mm -hmm. a, that a man would be like, yo, I need that girl. And, and I thankfully, I praise God for the, for the mistakes I made because I, I've learned mm -hmm. what I bring to the table. I know now that like, man, like any man who's not with me, I'm sorry. But anyways, <laughs> uh, another <laughs> thing is, out. is definitely, is definitely, um, you know, closing my eyes to red flags. Like, mm -hmm. I would see red flags time and time and time and time and time again where, like, you're fighting with somebody and they go to bed and they, you know, they go days and days and days without talking to you and you have to, like, beg for their mercy and say sorry when, in fact, like, they were wrong, you were right, but you're still saying sorry, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I think, I think seeing all these red flags and tolerating it and then I just became so immune to seeing, like, red flags, I think that was the biggest mistake. So I have, like, a compilation of mistakes, but within like a relationship so okay. that's me mm -hmm. i think that for me it's kind of the same um oh, it's so weird to say but <laughs> it is kind of the same thing in the sense that my mistake you know i'm gonna say my mistake is not reaching out to god sooner mm. because about that Oof. about that <laughs> about that <laughs> like contraction <laughs> because <laughs> you know, don't joke not, not, <laughs> not joke. Because I let myself get into a situation where I was looking for love in the wrong places, mm -hmm. and that led me to a hole that it took a long time for me to get out of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the reason for that is because I was unhappy. I was unhappy, and I met someone who was making me happy in the moment. Mm -hmm. And because of that, whatever he was saying to me, I was believing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not even like he was lying to me. Maybe he wasn't lying to me, but it was like... For me, at that moment, for me, he was my comfort. He was my peace. He was my everything. Mm -hmm. To where, if I didn't have him, I knew where I would end up mm -hmm. in a hole. But mm -hmm. he was like digging me out of this hole. But at the same time, that relationship was not healthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was long distance. I didn't know him. I rushed into it, and I felt like I was already in too deep. I mm -hmm. couldn't get out of it, mm -hmm. and I liked. For some reason, I liked the hole. Mm -hmm. That hole was my comfort, wow. mm -hmm. and that's because I had nothing else. And I feared nothing to compare it to. Exactly. Yeah. And I feared leaving it because I'm like, if I leave it, where am I going to end up now? Like, the fear of the unknown. Like, yeah. The fear that he's the best that he, thing. And that relationship defined you. It right. did. Yeah. And everybody was telling me, even, I know you guys are telling me too, like, Deborah, let it go. Let but it, it go. was... Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> but I just, I felt like I just, I couldn't mm -hmm. at the time, you know? And it lasted, what, four years? Mm -hmm. And in those four years... That is, like, it is so weird for me to watch you and actually say like say that why like because it like it, it shows like 
not weird, but it's like it it shows that you've like grown from it for yeah, you to actually see me because too. in the in the moment in the moment I was like, what are you doing? I know you thought I was crazy. I'm like, what is she like? You're like the smartest. And again, these are all things that happen in relationships and stuff like that. And you know, you you live and you learn. But I remember like just looking at you and be like, yo, like she's the smartest girl I know. How could like this is one of the things that she cannot be going through, mm-hmm. and for her to like say, I think it's like the first time you've said it the way you said yeah. it. Yeah. It's like not even to myself to be honest, mm. and it was like I knew that, mm-hmm. but nobody. Sorry, that was oh, you. the real MVP. Oh, you're the real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. go ahead, I'm the chief looking back at this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like. Nobody knew what I was actually going through except for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If I had told you guys how depressed I was, if I had told you guys how sad I was, maybe probably you guys would have helped me through it, but I couldn't I couldn't say that. And not and even worse, I didn't know it. Mm. I didn't know I was miserable. That's That's I just worst. knew that maybe I was I wanted a man or maybe you know what I mean? You know when you're in a relationship you you feel blissful, you feel like all these emotions. Maybe the I I felt ever. like no, I'm happy because like we're together, but no, it was I needed him for something. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize it until later, until much, much later. Mm-hmm. And that's because I wasn't looking for God. I was looking for love, for mm-hmm. acceptance, for peace. Some, someone else. Somewhere, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, and I jumped into it. And that was honestly the worst thing I've ever done and the biggest mistake that I think I've ever done in my life. But I feel like it taught me so much. And looking back at it now, I feel like it's, I was a completely different person. Mm-hmm. I didn't even honestly recognize myself looking back at some stuff mm-hmm. that I had said, that I did, like, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's just, it's a lesson, mm-hmm. but it's definitely something that, that stuck out with me and that, like, that stayed with me ever since. What about you? Uh, why, why you gotta hit me? Because <laughs> I, I, I might have a laundry list, I might have, like, a whole Listen, list yeah. of things that I'm no, gonna I, share. No, because, like, when you hear, like, biggest failure, biggest mistake, like, I feel like there's a lot of things I know that I've done wrong, there's a lot of things... I know that like. I failed, that I failed in, but like to be honest, I literally had to think about it while I was here because, like I told you guys before, like I couldn't pinpoint like what was one of the biggest, 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 and I think for me, like in regards to love, because I think we make different mistakes in different areas of our lives, but since we're in the topic of love, I think for me, you mean it? The biggest I feel like mistake that I did was. I remember there was a time um, pre-marriage where we were dating and we had broken up, right? Like, he broke up with me. And I just felt like my whole world, like, crashed. Like, like we all know the pain of heartbreak, which, mm-hmm. I, like, I expected the pain of heartbreak was. What I couldn't, like, understand was why was I so unhappy being alone? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Where I had to, like, when I was thinking about it, I'm like, wow, like, my happiness was literally linked to you. Where when you when you let go of that relationship, you let go of me, I couldn't be happy on my own. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of my biggest mistakes because I didn't learn how to be happy on my own before I got in a relationship. And when that was was over, thankfully we got back together and it's all good. (laughs) But like, at that point, I was just like, I remember I used to think, like, I'm so unhappy. Like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do without him? Like, oh my good, Like, you know what I mean? All the things we go through. But I remember before we got back together, I was like, no, like, I have to learn how to have happiness on my own because Mm -hmm. this person, I love you, but I don't want you to be my only source of happiness Mm -hmm. or like, I didn't even know, like you don't even realize how how much we we link on to to, to men. You know what I mean? Because it's like, we're, it's like they fill some kind of void. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, some of the things that you were, you you mentioned. Um, I think my biggest, I guess to go back to the question, my biggest mistake was not like finding that happiness within myself first before getting into that relationship. Because when that was th- when that was gone, I was left, like, literally flat on the floor. Nothing. like mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? With, like, wow. nothing left for myself. So I remember before we even got back together, I had to build myself back up and, like, find ways. What other things make you happy? Like, you know right. what I mean? And I think, like you said, just finding God, talking mm-hmm. to God, and mm-hmm. having that relationship where you have joy and happiness within yourself first mm-hmm. before you go searching elsewhere. So mm-hmm. that's what I would say would be, like, in love, that would be one of my um, biggest mistakes I've done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, oh <laughs> on to the real show. No. I'm <laughs> um, in the topic of 
I mean, like we make different mis like mistakes again in all um, different aspects of our life. Um, but for me, especially in relationships, my biggest mistake or mistakes, because it's a lesson that uh, it's, it's a problem or it's a mistake that kept reoccurring in different relationships, but that um, I couldn't either pinpoint or move away from or walk away from until I was ready to. But it was not knowing my self-worth and um, letting somebody else not knowing my self-worth or knowing what I'm worth, but too afraid to show it or letting them dictate what I'm worth, whether it be nothing, something or less mm -hmm. than nothing. Um, I, like one of the, one of the mistakes I can pinpoint is I've actually let someone um, kind of take over my life to the point where I failed my grade 12. Like I didn't graduate with my class mm -hmm. with everyone else because I was so wrapped up in the idea of, I, I, I don't know if I can call it love, um, but I was wrapped up in the idea and the feeling of being wanted and mm. being valued and being a, maybe a step ahead or being part of what was socially happening. Everyone in grade 12 had boyfriends, so I assumed this was the right thing to do. Um, and... I, I gave myself or whatever I, I had at the moment to myself, uh, sorry, to somebody else or gave my time and attention. Um, mm -hmm. Like every spare moment I had for me is like, oh yeah, I got to spend it with this person because that's what girlfriends do and that's mm -hmm. what relationships are mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But um, I ended up, I ended up hurting my, at the end of the day, it was me that was hurt. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I hurt me. I hurt my family. I hurt my loved ones. Um, but it was it was a lesson. Like it's something that I took. I took away from it. Like mm -hmm. it, it, it brought me down. Yes. But I took away from it to be like, OK, I can do better. Um, I'm worth more than this. And I think even as I was going through it, I knew that this wasn't right. But because I was finally socially acceptable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I allowed myself mm -hmm. to fall I allowed myself to be wrapped up mm -hmm. but that feeling is something that I might have learned from but didn't completely heal because in my next relationship same thing happened mm -hmm. it was I wasn't being valued um I was doing everything um, like fi I was doing everything, especially like financially, business wise. I was the one that was driven. I was the one that was like you driving know? or driven. You mean well, both. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, but mm, um... the palm trees, <laughs> the palm trees, <laughs> no, the palm the trees, shade. Wow. No, 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 no. But I'm, well, I'm saying like take, take, con taking control, right? I was the yeah. one because I learned from a previous relationship, mm -hmm. and I was now ready to dive into something else but I was more mature more focused so I thought mm -hmm. but the same underlying issue of was there being wanted and being loved was still there it was something I, I didn't heal from it I learned and I'm like yeah you know I'm better than that but I still have that like that wound mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so I carried that into another relationship and I allowed the same thing to a different degree mm -hmm. to happen you mm -hmm. know financially um, like emotional abuse and stuff like that. I kept taking oh, on nice, things. Bro. I kept mm -hmm. taking on things because I'm like, this is, you know, I'm receiving what I think is love. Mm -hmm. um, this person has their attention on me and, you know, they're talking and, and having all these aspirations and promises mm -hmm. towards me. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want that? What mm -hmm. girl doesn't want to hear, you know, I love you or I want to marry you mm -hmm. or you're the one for me. Me and you, you know, we can go Us against far. the world. Us against oh the world. God. It's, all, oh it's all the things that all you want to hear. Things. It's all the things that you want to hear. And then when you start thinking of, you know, I'm getting older mm -hmm. and, you know, my timeline. Time and line. this is, you know, this is perfect like you know I'm, I'm close to that age mm -hmm. so this person's saying all the right things but deep down inside me another failure was i wasn't listening like to myself <sighs> like oh i was gosh. i could yeah. hear myself as i'm going through this relationship like screaming flash. stop like Get out. Get out. Get out. You're the not, movie. Yeah. yeah, literally. Like, literally. Yeah. I, you're the sunken place. Like, seriously. 
<laughs> Seriously, I could feel myself sinking, but I al- again, I allowed I allowed it to happen, mm-hmm. right? And I can't say like any of these things are like I, I would never say, oh my god, it's that person's fault and stuff like that. It's just a moment in my life mm-hmm. where where I had to learn something, I had mm-hmm. to go through something. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm grateful that I went through it because it allowed me to be who I am today. I'm grateful. Now I could say I'm grateful for the hurts and Mm -hmm. I don't want to say I'm grateful for the abuse, but I'm grateful for the person, um, that it's made me. The fact that I've gone through it Mm -hmm. and the fact that I was able to come on the other side and I can look back at it now. I'm grateful that Mm -hmm. it's woken me up and made Mm -hmm. me stronger and it's made me more aware and it's, something that I could I could share those experiences with other people. I can I can now know like the word advice on that. Topic. I could give advice. I know the warning signs. I'm I'm willing like you know oh, I yeah. can easily talk oh, to yeah. things warning signs. Anymore. Yeah. Huh. I can now talk to someone and just be like, you know Doctor what? Of signs. I've been through what you've mm-hmm. been through. Yeah. Because I'm on the other side of it. When you're going through it, you're like, nah, like this is life. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. what what else is there than this? This person loves me. This person, you know gives me all the attention in the world mm-hmm. what can how can this possibly be harmful sure i'm spending money sure you know i'm paying for everything mm-hmm. sure but the, but then thinking yeah. that the return is going to be greater yes than that, someday right? like it's, it's not someday. even just yeah. it's not even just oh okay the t- no you think it's like oh someday you know like mm-hmm. i'm doing all this stuff right now because i'm about to be wifey you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like if mm-hmm. i am you know saying okay i'm gonna pay whatever it's because we're gonna live like the rest of our lives together so it's okay i'm gonna do it for now because he doesn't have for, yeah. but you know later on he's gonna have so mm-hmm. then he's gonna take good care of and me and you feel mm-hmm. stuck yeah. in that you feel mm-hmm. stuck yeah. in the idea idea that like no it's gonna get better it's gonna get better this is oh, just yeah. temporary that temporary end up lasting years and oh. you're like what you waste so much that's do? a huge mistake well, wasting time it's it's the fear of the because think about yeah. it if you're thinking of yourself like you know the old you or the younger you or that version of yourself so young. it's i mean you know yeah but <laughs> <laughs> no but you think of that version of yourself and you're like you now can pinpoint it was the fear of the unknown. You can or it could have been like the fear of regret. What if I leave him and and it or, does and the or fear falling of in love or, with their what they can potentially be. What, yeah. yeah, and, and that, losing out on that, oh and losing out on who they could be because you didn't stick with the you know the building journey. Up, you don't want to build them up for another woman. Yeah, yeah. That is, a lot of times we do that. We us like women and myself myself as well. Like we fall in love with what we know they have potentially to be. So we kind of like remove all the red flags we see for who they are right, right now. now. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, again, I, I don't care. Okay, I'm not going to say, because I was going to say, you know, okay, I was going to use a bad example, <laughs> but I'm like, no, that's probably not. It's probably insensitive. But like, you know, you can see a certain red flag that's like, yo, you got to get out of there. But you tell yourself, you know what? Like, I know he has a good heart. Mm-hmm. I know that, you know, what he did, he didn't mean it like that. Oh, yeah, you make an excuses. Exactly. Excuses. Like, excuses. And I, and I, and I really like what you, and I really like what Lisa was saying because, Again, like I always said, like I was telling you guys, I think like the word mistake and failure has always like a bad connotation. Yeah. But ultimately, it's it's something that we should look at in a positive way. Just because, like you said, like ultimately they become lessons, and we learn from it. And certain things that like we we have to go through mm-hmm. for growth. We have to go through for the next phase. And thank God. We for have it. to go yeah. through for like the next person in our lives. So I think it's like our failures Personally, end I up feel being like good lessons. Like for all of our situations. We wouldn't be who we are today without those situations. Absolutely. Without those sure. Without for those like for me and for me, like I I I can now say that I'm grateful that it happened at a younger age. Because mm-hmm. obviously I can't I can't I wouldn't have been like 18, but like I'm so grateful I didn't pass with y'all. Good <laughs> luck on your endeavors. No, like it hurt, it sucked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like being twenty what am I, twenty seven? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're old, bro. <laughs> I'm up You're there. All yeah. up uh, 27. <laughs> So, to, don't feel left behind. Not me. <laughs> you're oh you're coming along. But, like, now being 27, almost, like, 10 years older, looking back at myself, I'm like, I had to go through that. Had I not gone through that almost 10 years ago... You wouldn't have been a hustler. I wouldn't... Mm-hmm. You I wouldn't would have not, been a wouldn't hustler. be where you are today. Honestly, because have, my... Yeah. That was, like... Like, it's failing and not getting that diploma... Because, yes, the effect of what was called... It's not even love, like puppy love or strong like, whatever. I wouldn't... It would it kickstart something in me. Because after that, I became more, like... Driven. Driven. And, like, education-wise, Ambitious. yes, I was still struggling 
when it came to love. Yes, I, like, I knew my self-worth and whatnot, but it was an area I still had to work on. But when it came to, like, school, mm -hmm. when it came to business, when it came to grinding, it mm -hmm. kick-started mm -hmm. something in me. And mm -hmm. I literally, like, when I had to go back to school, um, do, like, a grade 13... I was so focused, like I wasn't even looking at it like that. I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna do what I have to do. I can, I need to get where I need to get." And that's why, like, even after, like, after, um, after I finished, you know, grade thirteen, I finally graduated, and I then went on to travel and tourism, and I'm getting all these jobs that are out of the norm. People are like looking at me like what is she doing? But only mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Right? What What is she doing? Yeah. Or first it was, what is she doing? And that's a waste of time. And then the more I excelled, it's like, oh, she can't, she can't be doing that because she failed. You know, she put Girl, her let me do the they same thing. You no, no, but they, no, I'm saying like they, they labeled, yeah, they labeled me because it was like, she put her family to shame. She failed. How can somebody that's fallen so deep or so far so publicly rise up rise up mm -hmm. which to me again to me i was so focused in what i was doing i didn't see it like a come up i'm like yeah i'm working on the train it's yeah it's a government job it pays well i'm traveling across canada okay it's for me as a job i'm doing what i love and i love what i do right and then i excelled into another part of travel and tourism and you know i started doing hair and i have all these business ideas like anything i put my mind to which I'm, I'm grateful for, but like everything I, I put my mind to, I at least try. If it fails, it fails, but I like to try and, and put my and best foot forward. And do you think that, that what happened to you is what has led you to be doing yeah, this Yeah, for stuff sure, now? for sure. Because I don't, I think if it, it would have just been like, you know, like a little like puppy love mistake, or like if I would have just had a boyfriend or just kept having boyfriends and just kept going down that path, I think I would have learned. Find yourself, like, not that, I, I would have found myself, but. It wouldn't have kickstarted like I think the the business and the entrepreneur or the 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 driven part of me like it it, it was a failure that in, ignited something. So yeah, and I think we can all agree. Right? Sorry, mm -hmm. yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was saying I think we can all kind of agree that um, ultimately all of our biggest mistakes have you know brought us to who we are today now and mm -hmm. ultimately be kind of a good lesson. And you guys, thank you all for tuning in. We'd love to hear what are some of your biggest mistakes, some of your biggest failures. How have you learned from it? You know, feel free to join in on the conversation.